Well, in just one week, our friend and colleague Kevin Rader is retiring. As you likely know, Kevin is one of the best storytellers here and anywhere in the country. He has made us laugh, he's made us cry, all while keeping us informed every day. We're going to miss him, Scott. We are, in fact. So we want to look back at Kevin's favorite stories. Today, a story Kevin did about a seven-year-old boy who is deaf and blind, but discovered the joy of music. If you've never met someone perfectly attuned with who they are, what you have now. I always do that for the kids. Music is just all. Jim Chrismore. Everything. Artist. It's art, but it's also history, but it's also math. Middle C is right. Teacher. Right here. Shepherd of his own musical instrument petting zoo. That's what I do. I help children figure out what instrument speaks to them the best. He has lived a lyrical life. I am passionate about music. I hope you can tell that. <laughs> Following a path that is clearly denoted in black and white. Good morning, McClellan Bears, teachers and staff. But not everyone's path is so clearly defined. I do wonder all the time, like, how does it feel to be like how he is? Imagine. I couldn't imagine how he feels. If his mother doesn't know how seven-year-old Elias Valentin Wilson feels, then who does? You can't ever know that because he's never known vision and he's never known hearing. Born deaf and blind, he's searching for his path in this life. He's just dealing with what he's, what he's got. Every step. What he's been given. Every day, in darkness and silence. And just listen to how it resonates. Two people on two very different paths. We're gonna go into music. And it could all change. Oh my. In one moment. Feeling the string. <laughs> it was like, I was so excited. Do we want to try this? Okay. He's, I don't, I can't explain it. He's feeling it? Feeling the music? Amazing. On this day, the cello did the speaking. And the student couldn't even hear it, but he could feel it. He was feeling it with his chin and with his ears and with his body. And... Oh, I can do this. Here's something else I can do. And his fingers started to dance. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I never pictured my son playing. <laughs> It's <laughs> okay. It's okay. We're learning. We're learning. You hold. I love this school. They've done miracles for him. He's making his own music. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> See, look at the smile. Have you ever experienced anything like you've just experienced? No. What was that like? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, he was actually reaching to hug. Mm -hmm. The instrument? I mean, does that show the power of music? Oh, I didn't think. Give me a minute. Jim Chrismore has witnessed many moments over his 30 year career of teaching music. Music in the schools is, well, I've dedicated my life to music in the schools. But this is much more than science and art. No, this was an awakening that could last a lifetime. It's a child with no vision, limited if any hearing, who is experiencing the power of music. Now, how cool is that? Want more music? Oh, he says yes, please. Kevin Rader, <laughs> Channel 13, Eyewitness News. 
I think he could do this all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>